here at the border where the desert and the forest meet up in the distance in that hill I don't know if you can see it but you can see the clusters of the juniper trees that's where the forest begins somewhere in that canyon it's where the desert ends the forest begins we'll be going in there checking it out a little windy today a little cloudy but that's all right let's do this Here we are, just getting into the canyons where the hills meet. Pretty cool area. Somewhere in here we'll find the line where the saguaro cactuses end. That should be up here a little ways. Here we have some juniper trees up on the hill. Alright, let's head in a little further and check it out. Made it down to where the river begins. Agua Fria. Pretty cool. And uh, right up over here is some prehistoric rock art we're about to go check out. Let's go see it. A lot of people used to live out here back in the day. Here's a boulder that's been broken. They use this to uh, grind their corn with their uh, stone. See the impressions still left in this rock. Before this boulder broke, they would stand here, grind their corn, flour, whatever they had. cool thing to come by but uh it's got nothing on what's up here the Yavapai Indians came through this area they had a distinctive art pattern but um this actually isn't it this rock art comes from a time before the natives the native people called them the Anasazi. There was large groups of people that lived out here and seemed to have vanished before the natives came through. Check this out. Let's see if we can get closer here. Gotta scale this rock wall. Ugh. Yeah, look at that. How often do you get to see stuff like that, huh? Let's uh, see if I can do this without killing myself. Must have been a pain in the ass to even get up there to do that. It's like little steps here that'll lead you up. area had a uh, significance to the people. It's where the Agua Fria River, River began. It's right there at the border between the desert and the forest. If you don't have air conditioning or heating or something, this is the part of the state you'd want to be in. Move a little up north in the summer, head south in the winter. They definitely spent a lot of time here. This was an important area for them. Really amazing being up here and just seeing it. We'll go in a little further, see what else we can find. Check these out one more time. Pretty cool. Here's another little one I just came across for anybody that wants to try to decipher that. 
another one way up there. I have no idea how they even got up there to do that. I don't know if I even captured it really, but some of them are in really awkward spots. I don't see a whole lot more around here. There may be some more deeper in. I don't know. I came out here last night, but the sun was going down. I didn't have a lot of time to check it out. So I actually crashed out here last night, woke up this morning, and now I'm here. Let's go a little further in. We're deep into it now. Check it out. Probably one of the coolest areas in the state. One of my favorite anyway. It's actually my first time I've been down here. I usually stuck to far north Arizona or south. I never really uh, spent a whole lot of time right there in the middle. This is where I'm gonna be for a while, so. It's super windy right now. But uh, yeah, we're gonna head a little further in. What's up ahead? a little further in stopped to take a break here and thought I'd shoot a clip of it it's pretty cool it's like I'm in the forest standing in the trees but I'm also in the desert surrounded by cactuses it's the forest in the desert in one where I'm standing now trying to find a juniper tree like this growing side by side with the saguaro that would be the ultimate. I have not seen it yet, but I'm going to find it, I swear. Let's see if we can find that. Look at these guys. They're looking at me like, what the hell are you doing way out here? Super windy, past about 10 15 minutes. We've angered the gods coming into such a sacred place. Ugh. This is totally sand, like at the beach. Same sand. It's kind of like I'm at the beach slash forest slash desert. It's super cool around where the saguaros end, where they make their final stand. Still in search of a juniper and a saguaro together. Here we got a juniper behind this cow and a saguaro right there. That's pretty close, but I want to get them right next to each other. The, oh, and shit, I might have it right here. Here we got a juniper tree, and I see a saguaro popping up right behind it. Here we go. Very nice. I'll walk right through this river, I don't even care. I've been trying to find junipers and saguaros growing together for a while. And I have found it deep within this canyon. I don't know how far this goes, but I'm sure it goes quite a ways. Let's see. Oh, here we 
go. Saworos Juniper. Not right up next to each other like I was hoping for. Maybe, maybe that's still to come. But here we go. Let me find a good place to stand. A true meeting of the desert and the forest. In the distance, I, I think those are cottonwoods actually. I could be wrong. But here we are. At the very border of the desert and the forest. Absolutely amazing. Let's go a little deeper in, see what we can't find. Super cool. Pretty deep into it now and I found this rock wall. I don't know if it was made recently or... Nice little lookout tower in here. Somebody definitely stacked these. I don't know when, but getting a little further south now. Not a whole lot of juniper trees this far in, but uh, yeah, we're heading that way. Let's go. Here we are sitting under this juniper tree. This is one of the furthest south juniper trees I could find. There's uh, two more there, but past there there's really not any. Uh, so this uh, may be the first of the juniper trees, or the last, depending on which direction you're coming from, but pretty cool. This is probably where we're gonna turn around and start heading back been out here a while now we're pretty deep into the canyon so we'll get some footage of the way back and uh it's gonna do it for today but uh it was a pretty good hike saw some hieroglyphs some uh boulders for corn grinding we got to see juniper trees and saguaros together so uh yeah it was pretty cool we'll uh we'll start heading back now through this stuff Absolutely beautiful. Found another rock wall. This one's a little smaller. Got this little uh, area here. Clear that out in there. You can sleep under this rock. I don't know how high this rock wall came up. It looks like a lot of it has fallen down. But uh, yeah, another rock wall. That's cool. I've seen these in northern Arizona, way out in the forest at some canyons, but I haven't uh, 
first that I've seen in the desert. Well, not the very first, but yeah, anyway, there they are. red over here. Check it out. Seems like the water's flowing underneath the rock. the entrance that took us into the canyons. We're almost to the end now. Not too much further to go. This thing was friggin' huge. Here we are on the trail out. This is about the end of it. Guess we'll go ahead and end it here. If you're ever interested in uh, taking this hike yourself, it's the Badger Springs Trail in Arizona. There went a little squirrel. Right off the I-17, south of Cordes Lakes. Not tough to find. But uh, yeah, here we are. Made it back safely without getting lost in the desert as I tend to do, but here we go. I don't know if you can see that or not, but yeah, that's what it is. Agua Fria and Badger Springs. And that does it for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. I know I had a good time seeing more uh, juniper trees up this far north. We were about good two miles in at least so uh yeah the further north you go the more in the forest you get and here soon i'll actually be shooting videos from the forest because as it heats up i'll be heading further and further north so uh stay tuned for that and uh that does it for today guys see you next time <laughs>